Forest, J.W. Stevens here. Welcome to the Stevens Family Farm. Well, it's early summer here and deer season is three months away and but I still can take my old recurve out and uh, try to sneak up on a groundhog or two. But what I thought I would do today is to share with you how we prepare up for the winter in our garden and what we do in our garden. Stay tuned. Okay, here we go. Um, what you might notice about the Stevens family and uh, our garden is lots of wood chips floating around. Okay, folks, real quick here. What you'll notice here, the way we do it, we like to do things simple and uh, the way that the good Lord had ordained for it to be done is uh, we cover all of our crops with wood chips. And the wood chips do two things. Well, actually they do more than that, but they do two things that are really important to me. They keep me from having to water and they keep me from having to pull weeds. And you know what that means. If I don't have to water and I don't have to pull weeds, that gives me more time out in the woods with my recurve bow. Looking for the old groundhog in the summer. Okay, now, we, I know you see a tiller down here, and that tiller is not used to till the earth. We do not disturb the earth at all, and what we use the tiller for is whenever we're moving the wood chips away down to the top of the, the earth, we run the tiller through to loosen them up and uh, that way we can pull them back with the rake or whatever or the tater plow on the uh, on the tiller there it'll shove them off to the side then we plant right directly in the earth and then when the beans get up say three or four inches just like these are we'll take it by hand and we'll put the wood chips tuck them up tight so that there's none, none of the ground is naked uh, and we found that that works as excellent. And uh, not only does it uh, cut down on the weeds, as I said, and uh, the watering, but it also, when they break down, they turn to compost and it really builds the soil up. So I'm gonna take you a little tour here. Uh, we're gonna walk down here to the tomatoes. So follow me down. Okay, folks, this is J.W. Stevens again. And I know you can't see my face, but as long as you can see my digging fork here, I want to show you how we do the wood chips and planting of our tomatoes. Uh, of course, you see this is wood chips on top of the ground, and all we do is where we want to plant the tomato, we take our claw and we pull back until we get down to bare ground. Right there is the bare dirt. A lot of good earthworms underneath of there. All right, now on, I'm going to go ahead and take my drill and uh, my auger, and I'm just going to make a little hole, probably a couple inches deep, just to bury that root ball and get enough for the root ball to, to be covered. Pull it back, doesn't matter if there's some stones in there or not. Now what I do on my tomatoes that come out of the packet, I always pinch the bottom so we can expose the roots and let the roots grab into the, the soil. So you set it down in the soil and then just push the soil back over top of it. Like that, so simple, tap it down. Now, the trick and the secret here of this is covering it back up with the wood chips and then you cover that up and that keeps two things it keeps the moisture in all summer long and after I water these today and, and give them a good soaking for the first time I'll never have to water them again this summer because the wood chips keep the ground moist and keep the weeds away time to pick some more beans mama yeah, I gotta get some more for 
Got any beans on here? Yeah, there are gangs of beans on here. We are loaded with beans. And I'm so thankful to the Lord that He's really blessed our bean crop. I've already got, what, we've already picked what? A couple bushels, three bushels at least. So, and there's many more bushels to go and lots of blooms. And I've already picked this row a couple times, and I want you to look under here. This is awesome. Really? Look at these beans. Look at, this. Look at these beans, Dad. Oh, wow. See? That's what I was telling you. Just hold that open and let me look in there. Look at this. Hold that in. There you go, right there. Right oh, that implant right there. And that is on every plant, all down through the garden here. And this is the third time that I have cleaned off. There's like no. seven rows, about 30, 40 feet long. All right, I'm going to let Mama get back to picking. This is J.W. and Mama Stevens. Keeping it traditional. God bless.